So welcome to Techno Dad Life and my name is Jeff. And so have you ever wanted to watch one, two football games at the same time, maybe four football games? Or maybe be on, say you're overemployed and be in two Zoom meetings, three Zoom meetings, or four Zoom meetings at the same time? Well, now you can. So if you like this video today, make sure you like and subscribe and check in the description below for links to the product. So what I'm going to be showing today is the REI HDS 401 MV. And so this is a multi-view switcher. And so I actually have a few REI products. They are a company that makes splitters and switches that are more professional level. And so this one is an unusual switch and then it lets you watch multiple things at the same time on one screen. So if we take a look at this device, so on the top we have our name and the company name and what it does. On the bottom we have some air outlets. On the side more air outlets, more air outlets. And then on the front we have a power light, our IR controller, then we have the normal switches so we can display different ports or different devices. So channel one, two, three, four. And then, uh, so what we have different here is a mode switch, which this will switch us, help us switch between the different modes. There's four different modes. So single, dual, and then two different four display uh, modes. And then our resolution switch, which will change the resolution uh, service port, which we don't need. Then on the back, we have the four HDMI inputs, HDMI output, VGA output, a audio output, and then a 12 volt jack. So let's plug this in and then we'll see how it works with the remote and the switches on the front. Okay, so we have our switch on. We have four devices, a Mac mini, a Fire Stick, a mini PC, and a Roku on the end here, all connected. So let's see how using the buttons or using the remote control works. So first we have the buttons on the front, and so if we click through the buttons one through four, it will change the scene based on the input device. Then we have mode that will switch between the different modes. So this is full screen for one. And we can go to four devices. This one is a weird one. So it has a small picture on each side and then a bigger picture of the two middle ones. And then we have side by side. And then we have three different devices on the right hand side and then one in the middle bigger. So next I'll show you how you can change the actual resolution on these. So if we press and hold the mode button for five seconds it will stretch the images to fill their perspective spaces. So if you look at the one on the left it will be more noticeable. Can be advantageous for someone, uh, but it sort of doesn't work for a computer. If we switch to the Roku or the Amazon stick, it still looks funny. Uh, so I don't quite know what that mode is for, actually. So if you press the resolution button, then it will change the resolution of the different screens to 4K. So this is not a 4K monitor, so this won't work for me. Now if you use the remote control, you can do the same thing. Just follow the button. So full screen, fours, sides, side by side, and then three and one. Again, you can use the different buttons on here to change the scene. So for number one is the main. We can scroll through the different ones there. Or we can change one of the other ones too. It also has a sound button that you can use to turn off and on the sound. 
Uh, I found it not so useful. So basically of my four devices, uh, so it doesn't have any volume control on it. That's why it's not useful. So my Mac Mini, the sound was quiet and hard to hear. The MIDI PC was about in the middle and then the Roku and the Amazon uh, stick were very loud when they came through. So if you want to use the sound off of this device, then you have to have speakers that have volume adjustment outside or past this device. So if you adjust the volume on the individual devices, it doesn't seem to affect the volume. So who is the HDS 401 MV4? For, like I said at the beginning, it's if you need to monitor multiple screens at the same time, it's good for that as long as you don't need volume or you have a separate volume source you can use that have volume control with the speakers. So if you're putting it into a stereo system. Now that being said, in order to get this to work, so if you wanted to watch four football games, you would still have to have four different sort of cable runs to it from different machines to get it to work. So uh, it's still going to be expensive if you decide to do that, if you have to have four different cable subscriptions for it. Or if you have streaming devices, you know, you have to have services for all of them that you can stream with. So I guess what I'm trying to say is it's a niche device and at least for my use case, it's not there. But again, if you're again overemployed where you need to monitor more than one meeting at the same time and you have separate audio going into each ear, that would be fine. Or if you're in a meeting and you want to watch a movie or if you like watching sports and want to watch different games at the same time, it'd be great for that. Well, that's it for today. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.